All right, so this week was the 10th anniversary of Kill Tony. So they did this big show to celebrate it. And of course they had to have on Joe Rogan, you know, the man responsible for it all. And Tom Segura, he was there as well, even though I don't know if he really wanted to be there. He said maybe like 20 words the whole time. And he just sat there going to town on a piece of gum. Same thing with Joe. I, I think they're just like morphing into one person at this point. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just got done shaving each other's heads before they got there. And then they just sat there quietly chewing gum the whole time. Like, I think they spent more time just talking to each other privately and whispering in each other's ear so the audience can't hear them than just talking into the mic during the show. But I don't think the audience really cared that much. You know, I think they enjoyed the show and they probably just thought it was funny. And Joe, at least, was being a good sport. You know, we got this moment. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This is incredible. I've always wondered what it would be like. I've always wondered what it would be like if Ma Mario hooked up a toadstool. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, so that was by far the funniest thing Joe or Tom did all night. And all the comments were pretty much roasting them. Like one of the top comments says, it's cool Tony brought out a couple old guys to sit on stage and chew gum this episode. And a lot of people are talking about how much better it would have been if Shane Gillis and Mark Normand would have been there. And also a lot of people are calling out Joe because they think he's getting too soft. You know, they think he's sold out since he went to Spotify and now he's not as edgy as he used to be. Because a few times throughout the episode, somebody would make a joke and Joe would look at Tony and the expression on his face would be like, did he really just say that? Jeez, you're gonna get me canceled. Look at me, mommy, I'm a mermaid. Laquisha, no. <laughs> Grab onto this chicken leg. What's next? Pugets! Yeah! An unbelievable performance. I understood about 23% of it. Uh, and then again, we might not. He's retarded. You know what I mean? It might, it might just be him. <laughs> he knows. It's okay, Joe. We call him retarded every week. I'm not a retard. I show up on time. You're a super retard. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty funny, the faces Joe was making. But possibly the funniest part about this episode was when they brought out Theo Vaughn. You know, they're bringing out comedians during the show to like make appearances so the crowd would go nuts. You know, they brought him out. Everybody loved it. They're like, yeah, Theo Vaughn's here. This is awesome. Is he going to start doing some comedy? Is he going to be part of the show? And he came out there, like waved to the audience, high five some people, then went over and hugged Joe and everybody. And the crowd's all hyped up and Theo starts walking over to the mic and he turns around and looks back at the table and he makes this hand gesture. And I'm pretty sure he's like, I got to get going. You know, I wasn't really looking to say anything. Do you mind if I just dip out of here like you guys said I just had to show up and wave to the audience I'm not looking to do much more but he does give a little speech he's like thanks for showing up thanks for the support guys and then he takes off and I think his whole appearance was about a minute one of the great friends of the show Theo Vaughn yeah Good to see you guys this evening. I'm grateful to be in your city. Uh, grateful to be welcomed here. Um, yeah, congratulations, Tony, on having one of the most creative shows in the entire world. It is so much fun. Thank you, brother. Um, and all of you men at that table, thank you guys all for uh, just being brave and making something new and awesome here in this awesome city. And uh, grateful to see you guys tonight. Thank you. We love you. One of the greats in comedy. One more time for Theo Vaughn, everybody, huh? And then Tom Segura's like, yeah, sorry, guys. That's my ride. I got to get going. No, I'm just kidding. He's probably thinking that, though. But there's another moment similar to this. David Lucas had just done his minute, and I guess he's retiring from Kill Tony, or he's only doing it part-time now because he's too busy. So they decided to announce it during this podcast, and, you know, it's supposed to be a big moment. Everybody celebrates. Everybody cheers for him. And, you know, Tony says a few words. Maybe they roast each other one last time. But as soon as Tony announces this and the crowd starts cheering, Ron White walks out. So of course, all the attention just goes to him and the crowd starts cheering for him and going nuts. 
and obviously he's there to celebrate the retirement but it was just funny timing because it's like all right everybody cheer for david lucas let's give him a round of applause for all the time he's been on the show oh no wait ron white's here let's cheer for him in the future but this is officially his full-time retirement party right now in front of you guys we did it we set the record for the most roasting between two people hey Austin Zone, Ron my wife. Congratulations, what a run you've made on Kill Tony. I'm proud of you, brother. It's good to be your friend. He called it the mothership because it belongs to all of us. And we're here to celebrate that. And it's helping us all grow and get somewhere in life. Come on down and celebrate with us. You guys are great. Thanks for being fans of mine for all these years. Guys, come on, it's Ron Mike. He got this whole party started. We all moved here because of him. Change the scene of comedy. David Lucas, everyone. Yeah, so Ron White stole the poor guy's spotlight. Uh, they probably didn't think about that at all, but I just thought that was hilarious. And it was a classic episode here. You know, this was a great 10th anniversary episode. It did not disappoint. And Joe and Tom were great guests. You know, they stole the show. The way they're chewing gum up there, that was impressive. And it's hilarious. This was like the complete opposite of Joe's last appearance on Kill Tony. Like this one, he's sitting there silently just chewing his gum, minding his own business. But the last one he was on, he was completely wasted, just yelling the whole time. I'm ready to go! You don't Joe. understand what the f you're dealing with, Shane Gillis. I'm a different beat. Go yeah. to the death. <laughs> yeah, I was drunk 20 minutes ago, <laughs> but right now I can drive. <laughs> you misunderstood me. Like I, Kamaru Usman misunderestimated <laughs> Leon Edwards. So maybe after that appearance, Joe's like, all right, I got to take it easy during the next one. But let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments. And make sure you go check out my Patreon account. There's a bunch of content up there. It's definitely worth it if you enjoy the channel. Like if you want to hear about some of the cringiest Joe Rogan experience episodes that nobody ever talks about. Or if you want to hear about the basketball game that Shane and Matt played against Legion of Skanks and it almost destroyed their friendship and it turned into all this trauma. Or if you want to hear about Michael Richards' infamous meltdown at the Laugh Factory. It's all up on Patreon and I have a bunch of other videos as well. So go check it out and then make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you at the next video.